Welcome to Auto News TV Compact. All the important facts from the automotive world. PSA Peugeot Citroën presents the Peugeot 307 and the Citroën C4 as the hybrid HDI with a hybrid powertrain consisting of a diesel and an electric engine. On the outside, the two models differ only little from serial cars except for the logo Hybrid HDI at the back. But the technical effect behind this logo makes a world of difference over the masses. The new hybrid HDI technology which we are presenting today uh, aim to decrease consumption and to make a real breakthrough in consumption and CO2 emissions. Um, um, finally, the, the decreasing in consumption is about 30% and also in CO2 emissions, which is a, a, a very important achievement, of course, for the final customer. On average, the car consumes 3.4 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers with 90 grams of CO2 emitted per kilometer. The driver is continuously kept up to date about the function of his hybrid powertrain via a multifunctional color monitor, receiving information about the battery charging status or the power level demanded from the engines. The hybrid drive technology includes a 1.6 liter serial turbo diesel in conjunction with an electric engine. First of all, our hybrid HDI technology is uh, based on existing components that we have already uh, in uh, our group PSA Peugeot Strain. Uh, mainly the HDI engine, which is the most successful common rail engine in the world with more than 8 million uh, engines already uh, made and, uh, and sold out on the, on the market. And secondly, we are also using a technology we have already developed, which is a stop and start technology. Careful preparations for three crash tests of a very special kind. Here the experts set out to discover whether electronic safety features really save lives in an emergency. The first test was meant to demonstrate how well ABS and ESP systems work. The car in back, without ABS, starts skidding out of control and crashes broadside into the oncoming car. The car in front is stabilized by its ABS, hence avoiding a collision. Even when the cars collide at a speed of only 50 kilometers per hour, the driver in the red car is hurled sideways against the body of the car and is in grave danger. ABS improves the steering quality in braking maneuvers. The Electronic Stability Program, ESP, also prevents any unwanted drifting movement. One quarter of all accidents involving serious casualties and some 60% of all fatal accidents are caused by cars swerving out of control. The use of ESP could reduce serious accidents by 30 to 40%. In the second test, the experts see how well the brake assistance function. Two cars drive at a speed of around 60 kilometers per hour. One is stopped half a second earlier before colliding, at hence a lower speed with a stationary vehicle. The car that brakes later is twice as fast as the second car. That leads to four times the amount of impact energy. Many drivers hesitate in putting on their brakes in an emergency. The braking distances are dangerously long as a result. The brake assistant helps to maximize the braking effect more quickly.
Good. Okay. Test 3 shows how the automatic distance control and the emergency brake system work. A light commercial vehicle with a loaded trailer hooked up behind barrels into a line of stopped cars at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour. The chance of surviving the crash is very slight for those in the last car in the lineup. The car is completely crushed. The use of the automatic distance control would highly reduce the probability of such accidents. The system is equipped with radar sensors and recognizes the vehicles ahead determining their speed. Automatic acceleration and deceleration keeps the vehicle at a safe distance to the car ahead. Experts appeal for a mandatory use of such safety systems on cars. Every driver should decide for himself in order to prevent such scenarios in the real world. A new diesel engine, a fresh appearance and more equipment get the Toyota Avensis in shape for the upcoming model year. On the European market, the Avensis has taken over a key role for Toyota. As the flagship of the model fleet, it has made a major contribution to shifting the brand as manufacturer of high-quality cars more and more into the foreground in all sectors. The Avensis is the first Toyota model conceived solely for the European market. The pleasant body design of the Avensis hails from the Toyota Design Studio on the French Riviera. The 2007 models have been elegantly altered on the radiator grill and lights. The larger exterior mirrors with integrated blinkers are sweet and guarantee greater safety. Like the front, the back section was also modified only slightly. Inside, new fabrics and materials lend the Avensis a fresher look. The data in the board computer is now shown on the Optitron display and can be accessed at the press of a button on the steering wheel. Switches on the center console facilitate the remote control of the navigation system. The seats are as comfortable as always. The new diesel with 126 horsepower replaces the 2 liter 116 horsepower and the 150 horsepower 2.2 liter engines. Still in the range, the 2.2 liter DCAT diesel with 177 horsepower, particulate filter and nitrous oxide reduction. By introducing the new 2.0 liter 4.4D, Toyota hopes to quickly implement its clean power strategy for diesel engines. The station wagon version of the Avensis has always enjoyed great popularity due to the successful blend of driving dynamics and spaciousness. It's the best-selling Avensis model. Visually, the wagon is a symbol of strength and dynamics. The 2007 Avensis follows hot on the heels of the successful recipe of the previous model. One of the most striking improvements is certainly the new 2.0 liter D4D with particulate filter. The sedan and station wagon will soon be a dealership's in its fresher form. <laughs>